Hello and welcome to the latest episode of the Low Budget Review Show. I am your host, Eric Smith. And today I am talking about Nemesi by John Urbancic and Brian Keane. This is from Dark Fluidity. Hopefully you can see that there. It's just a little novella. And some giant monsters attack the Earth. And humanity has to uh, fight them. How's that for a nutshell? Uh, the book starts with the red dreams all across the world people are having these red tinged nightmares uh, everyone is terrified but nobody knows what they mean and then uh, a giant monster appears it's humanoid in shape it's riding an esquine-esque uh, steed and it's just destroying everything in its path and, and then another one appears uh, they're in China Conventional weapons are useless against them. And then we're introduced to our main character, main-ish character, Atia Destine, I believe is how you would say her name. She's an adventurer and a mercenary, and she puts a team together, and they uh, want to track one of these nemesis back to where it came from. Uh, they end up in uh, the tomb of... China's first emperor, and they go into this tomb, and there's rivers of mercury and terracotta warriors and a hole leading deep into the earth where these monsters have come from, and <clears throat> they have to figure out how to stop uh, what essentially will be a monster invasion. Uh, there's a smaller team of mercenaries out there trying to fight the creatures and get any intel they get. They want to get back to Atia and her team. Uh, there's a young girl and her grandfather, and uh, the grandfather is teaching the young girl uh, ancient Chinese legends in the hopes that uh, she can pass it on, she'll, you know, carry on the knowledge, and maybe there'll be some sort of clue in how to stop these creatures. I think that's, I think I've covered uh, everything I want to cover as far as the story goes in this little tiny novella. Um... So, uh, right off the bat, I mean, it's a well-written story. Uh, I'm not super familiar with John Urbancic's work. I may have read some short stories or something of his. Of course, I'm a huge fan of Brian Keene, and uh, they do a great job developing the characters in the short amount of time that they have. Uh, Atia is an interesting character. I would love to see more stories with her, uh, whether they're past stories or future stories uh, they're able to give each of the members of her mercenary team uh, their own distinct personality which in a novella they could have just been cannon fodder characters or or uh, cardboard cutout characters but they're they're given their own distinct uh, as I said personalities uh, which which is nice I mean that's to me that's a that's a hallmark of Brian Keene. I can't speak to John Urbancic, but I always love Keene's characters. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. My first thought when I read the synopsis of this book, I mean, the first thing that popped into my mind was Pacific Rim, because you have giant creatures coming out of a hole in the ground. Uh, but, uh, one, I, I don't know that you would classify these as kaiju, although I suppose kaiju just means giant monsters, generally. But they seem to be of a certain type, whereas these, uh, these creatures, these nemesi, at least physically, don't seem to... I wouldn't... If you saw them, I don't think you're... Like in a movie or something, I don't think your first thought would be, oh, there's a kaiju. Um, so there's a difference right there between this and Pacific Rim, as well as the fact that this is set in, as far as I can tell, the modern real world there's no giant robots there's no advanced technology what we have what the army is fighting with is the 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 guns and missiles and tanks and things that that we have now so it was just that first again it popped into my head because i heard giant monsters coming out of a hole in the ground so i thought pacific rim but uh that's as far as that goes um it's, uh, we get some interesting backstory, some interesting 
uh, Chinese legends. Uh, it's always nice to see terracotta warriors uh, brought up in this sort of story. And uh, what can I say? It's uh, as always, you might be getting tired of hearing this, but as always, with a novella, I find it difficult to talk about certain things because I don't want to give anything away. And being a shorter work, that means there's less that I can talk about without giving anything away. Um, so I suppose we can just stick with well-written, great characters, interesting story. Um, uh, this is the third time I've recorded this video, so I'm trying to think of things I may be forgetting versus things I've already said or think I've already said in this version of the video. Um, but I covered characters and writing. It's um, uh, I gave it four out of five on Goodreads, and uh, I, I recommend it. I think if I mean if you're a fan of Brian Keene, you're probably going to pick this up based on his name alone. Uh, again, I'm not super familiar with John Urbancic. I'll need to check out more of his stuff. But it's a fun, quick read. Um, you know, giant monster action the military and mercenaries um it's good stuff and again i wouldn't mind seeing uh some stories from atia's history uh th there's obviously a lot of backstory to her it's not necessary it's just one of those they would be nice but you can just read this and enjoy it for what it is it doesn't need more backstory it doesn't need a sequel it's just when you when you read characters that you enjoy, you know, it's always the sort of the reader's fantasy to, that you might get more with these characters. But but we don't need it. It's fine. I'm not I'm not one of those fans that demands I must have this. Um, so there you go. I I suppose third time. Hopefully uh, hopefully this is it. Nemesis, John Urbancic, Brian Keene. Um, so if you have any comments, questions, or corrections, please put them in the comments below. Comments are always open for spoilers. Just post a spoiler warning. We try to be polite here at the Low Budget Review Show. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. If you care to follow me on social media, my Twitter is at Ronin5757. My Instagram is EricSmith5757. That's Eric with a K, E-R-I-K-S-M-I-T-H 5757. That's all I've got. This has been the Low Budget Review Show. I have been Eric Smith, and until next time, read more books.